I'll bring the wine. I used to roller skate, so there's a little bit of that. Ah! <laughs> you got the better one. Cheers. So this is this is Gavi. This is my favorite Italian white wine, uh, grown in Piedmont, Italy. Um, usually, like a little tart, a little sour, dry. <laughs> Maybe a little vegetable. Uh, I, I mean, you know, Galbi's, they're not cheap. Like, they're not like Pinot Grigio where you can find a good one for 10 bucks. Galbi's, like, for a good one, like this one was 17 maybe. And that's kind of on the cheap end for Galbi. A good Galbi, you can spend like you know, 35 bucks and you get something, something super, you know, super dope. Someone points it out. Does it smell like cheese, kind of? That, that was dope. That was dope, yep. Oh no. Uh, I almost went down, you saw that? How long have you been painting for? I've been painting since 2015. There's a charm to them. Yeah, I get it right away. I get it right away. When you say that, what do you mean? That, that, you know, the expression is still there. You know, the story is, is, is there and it's vivid. And, and I think that's, you know, no matter how it's expressed, when you, ex when you are able to deliver it so vividly, like Jay-Z, right? When you, when you hear Jay-Z rap, like you can see it happening. Like you can tell like he's really rapping about what he's, you know, I mean, he's really seeing what he's talking about. And he, and he uh, explains it to you so explicitly. And you know, I think it, all I'm saying is that when I look at your art, I can create my own interpretation, whether it's right or wrong. I can still identify uh, what my, what my, you know, my heart is telling. Me. Uh, whereas you know, you look at some some people's art, and it's just like a very bland, uh, you know. Just a very, just a very disconnected. Like I, I just don't feel it. Like it's not, you know what I mean. And, and, and it's, it, I, obviously, it's different from painting to painting. Mm -hmm. But you can tell that it comes from the same artist. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm like <clears throat> in a space where I'm trying to kind of define, and I guess at the same time develop my style. Um, but yeah, art came to me super randomly. And it came <clears throat> kind of like out of a place of like desperation. And like I desperately wanted to have ownership of my artwork. So the quickest and simplest way to do it was to actually create art. These are my series of like first paintings, the things with the borders, all the way over to that stuff on the top. And what I found was I actually like enjoyed the work that I was doing when I was creating these paintings. I enjoyed the process, the exploration, the meditation, the vibration. And um, yeah, I did it as an exercise in owning my artwork and toying around with like the ownership of my own artwork and the ability to scale the ownership. So I made the art and then I made merch, t-shirts and mugs and shit. That was just like a exercise to myself like, yo, I can own a master of something and I could license it and be able to own my heart.